Hello, I'm Joachim Duplessis. Welcome to the HTS EPO. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The Member of Parliament for Groselay, Kenson Casimir, has announced the publication of the draft legislation to address the complaints of noise pollution. Noise pollution was brought to the fore of public discourse by the residents of the Rodney Bay community. The issue will be placed on a scientific basis with the measurement of noise levels to determine how loud is too loud. So we ask, do you think the use of legislation will help curb noise pollution in St. Lucia? We took to the streets to get your opinion and here is what you had to say. No, I don't support it. Um, especially for call center workers that is working from home, I believe that um, the music should be cut off a certain time. It affects them and also um, there are people that want their peace of mind I'm not saying that music cannot be played, but there should be a certain time that it should be cut off. So do you support the proposed legislation to curb the loud music? Do you support it? Yes. Yes, man, it's a good, it's a good thing, man, for um, the system to start putting them people in, in, in team because too much noise at this at late time in the hours of night. People cannot sleep, children have to wake up in the bed because it's too loud and such and such thing like that is not good, man. Do you think the proposed legislation will curb the noise pollution? Yes, it's good. Stop them. Charge them for making noise at, at least hours in the night. Okay, disturbing all, everybody, the old people and different things. So the people you support them? Yeah, I support it. Yeah, the loud music, I'm not going to lie. Some people, I mean, they like it, you know, some people don't like it, you know. But at the same time, you know, they have children. You know, they have homework to do, they have things to do, they go to sleep early because they have school. Some parents have to wake up their children early to go to school. Some parents have to wake up early to go, um, go to work, 3, 4 in the morning. And people passing up and down, no matter what time it is, loud music, they don't have care for anybody else. So, yeah, they should pass along that. I mean, if you want to play a loud music, I mean, there's a particular volume. That's why they have volume on the radio. The beach on Sundays, somebody have a party, a little session, they can afford DJ. I mean, you could do that for them, but every day, all night, all day, no, that's a problem because you know at the same time it disturbs certain people you know they have work and they have children to watch after so tell you the truth you need a lot and balance on that yes well well it, it's based on 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 the area that the guys are with their loud music because I mean everybody pay their monies to entertain themselves right so for instance I could be in one repo and I could be playing my music as loud as I want on the Prale beach the only person I could disturb is the fellas in Borderley and it's still dancing will be dancing at the end of the day so we have to watch the area of where you play in the music. I understand. Yeah, you understand. Do you support the proposed legislation to curb noise pollution? Do you support it? Yes, I support it because I mean I could have my daughter studying, right, for exam, and then a guy could be in that particular area and he could be disturbing her meditation on her exam. Right? That we could propose something for that. So is the area on where the guys are performing their loud music. Well, be honest to God, it's not now I've been talking about that. You see that kind of loud music, them fellas useless music, people sleeping, there are people that have heart attack, they, they, they know the people problem because they have elderly people and even children sleeping disturbing the public. Do you support the idea then? I support the idea 100% and if the government could stop that, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I support the legislation to curb the noise pollution because of uh, a lot of different reasons. One of the first reasons is like back in the days when I was playing dancehall, all the discos, we used to call them discos, all that used to be soundproof. We used to use fiberglass and, and, and insulate the place so you don't disturb the, the neighbors because everybody have their freedom. Everybody need peace of mind. So you can't be playing your music and disturbing other people so i have another thing for the guys with the vehicles with the big song system at the top of the or the or the hood that is dangerous and that is noise pollution say if you have an accident head on with another vehicle that speaker can rip out of the bus uh, uh, the head of the vehicle and go straight into your windshield so we gotta stop that another thing i want to talk about is the djs the djs and them they they they, they corrupt the music they they, they destroy the music like they they talk all through the song blah, 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 blah. that is not good you got to do the thing right thanks for those responses now to our new discussion the government of saint lucia last week announced the establishment of the semi-professional football league a long-held goal of the minister for sports kenson casimir the government injected an initial 1.6 million dollars to get the league off the ground players will be paid for attendance at training and for playing 
The semi-professional league is expected to improve the standard of football in St. Lucia and to make the sport more rewarding for the players and others involved in the sport. It is also expected to enhance the chances of St. Lucian footballers gaining the attention of professional clubs in Europe, the United States of America and elsewhere. So we ask, do you think the semi-professional football league will raise the standard of the game in St. Lucia? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsaintlucia.org and vote. Remember, our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.